Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my February haul video. This will probably be the only one that I do this month. I think I don't anticipate myself buying like a ton more stuff um, before the month is over. So I'm going to share with you the things that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. And I'm going to go ahead and start with some candle warmers that I purchased through Amazon. I will link them down below. I will actually have an in-depth review of these guys coming up next week to tell you guys more of the ins and outs of, um, sorry, this kind of feels far away, <laughs> more of the ins and outs of why I purchased these and what the benefits are over actually burning my candles. So there will be a video coming up. So if you have questions, stay tuned for that video or maybe put your questions down below and I'll answer them in that video. But okay, first, this one is a, both a plate warmer and then also a like, melter at the same time. I will link where I got both of these down below. This is a really pretty gray color which goes with my new color scheme that I have in my house. It does have the little like clicker thing over here. So you can either put your tarts in here to melt them or you can take this off and then just set a candle on the hot plate here and warm your candle that way. So you have choices with that one. <laughs> and the second one you could technically have some options with as well and I'll talk more about how you can have those options in my video but this is what's called a candle crock and I do actually have a candle melting in here right now so this is a really pretty turquoise teal kind of color these are ceramic by the way and this has a heating element throughout the entire warmer it's not just at the bottom so it heats your candle from like the entire way around and what I have in here right now is a Kringle candle in vanilla cone right yeah vanilla cone which burning really started to smell kind of funky and off which made me mad because these damn candles were so expensive but it actually smells better melting than it ever did burning so this is going to be a way for me to kind of like get through these Kringles and just like be done with them because <laughs> I honestly like I don't know it, it, it'll be a good way for me to like utilize a lot of candles that I don't get a lot of throw from when they're burning because for some odd reason they actually smell stronger when they're in like a melter like this and then they do when they're lit so there's that anyway so this one's really pretty I really like this one a lot I'll link down below where I got them but um have been loving those and I look forward to doing some reviews on both of those for you guys so that you know maybe what would be the best option for you personally. Okay, I went to TJ Maxx and I'll have to show you the candles at the end because they're already plugged in in my bedroom. So I'll just do some quick footage in my bedroom of the lamps that I bought, but they're like perfect. I've been looking for lamps for a really long time and the ones that I found at TJ Maxx were awesome. I also found two of these containers here and what's funny is I was just at Target last night and they had these exact same containers for I think this size was six dollars and they have them at TJ Maxx for $2.99 so like basically half price. I grabbed two of these. I am starting to really like go through and purge a lot of things and organize my house. Now that we've remodeled I have a lot more motivation to get things cleaned up and tidy and neat and just get systems in place. So um, I will be doing videos throughout the year because I think it's going to take me some time to like do all the things that I want to do. So I'll kind of take you guys on the journey with me because it's been a lot of fun and I've been really motivated by some key ladies here on YouTube that I will talk about next week in my share the love slash cleaning routine video. But anyway, if you're looking for baskets like this, besides the dollar store, sometimes I find that those are a little too flimsy or cheap looking for me. Um... Try TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods because these are these are really nice, sturdy, like thick, heavy plastic, and um, they'll last forever. <laughs> and I like the gray color. Okay, so sorry, I have a box here that I've been tossing all of my things into. I went to Michaels and picked up some more chalk paint because I'm also going to be doing some DIY projects for you guys coming up here. I decided to try the Art Minds chalk paint this time around and I just got a big size because I'm going to be chalk painting a fair amount of things in my house. A little goes a long way with this but I'm still planning on doing quite a few projects. 
So um, I grabbed this, and I actually, I think, got 40% off of it. So it was, I think it was actually pretty cheap uh, with the coupon. But this is 16 ounces, and this is the color Simply White. They have lots of colors to choose from, but I'm going for more of like a gray, grayish, white theme in my house now. So that's where this comes into play. I also decided to pick up their white wax, which is what you need to seal the chalk paint. So got that. And then I decided to also pick up a specific chalk paint brush. Now this is definitely, um, there's lots of different styles. I figured this one was good because I'm going to be doing some larger furniture projects. And um, this covers a lot of surface area, and the, these types of brushes are really good for chalk paint. They're specifically designed for them. So this is the Art Minds 4-inch brush here. And I had a 40% off coupon, and I also had a like 20% off coupon for like my total purchase. So all of this stuff was actually, I want to say it came to like under $25.00. And I'll be able to redo quite a few things. So I thought that was totally worthwhile. Plus, I think some of the stuff I'm planning on doing is really going to like update the house and make it even lighter and brighter. So I'm excited about that. Okay, I picked up a couple things at, well, no, this is the only thing I picked up at Target. Everything else I think I purchased from Vitacost. But this is the Method Pure Naked Moisturizing Body Wash. This is in the scent Surfside. I have used these um, Method body washes before, and I wanted to recommend them for those of you that can use fragrance body washes because they're really nice, and they are a lot more moisturizing than other body washes that I've tried, and Method is cruelty-free, so that is um, that's kind of a bonus to me. I picked up this one actually for my husband, so this has like a sea salt kind of scent to it, like an ocean beachy scent, and so this is for Craig in the shower. He seems to like these method washes as well. He does, I mean, I could give him like a bar of like ivory and he'd be fine with that too, but um, I think it's good to buy him moisturizing stuff because during the winter his skin does get a little bit drier and he will put on lotion sometimes, but not all the time. So I try to buy him things that are somewhat hydrating. Um, okay, I believe this is all Vitacost stuff now. <laughs> Place an order of Vitacost. Picked up another Dr. Brana's. Bronner's, Bronner's, apparently I have an accent now, the Dr. Bronner's All-in-One Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Bar Soap. Now, I use this to wash my makeup brushes. I love it. Um, I know there are some people out there that use, like, the Zote, or some people even spend money on, like, the Beauty Blender or the brush cleaners that they have, like, at Michael's for, like, art brushes. I happen to really like this, and this is even more affordable than I think a lot of those other options. And I basically just put this into a recycled Bath & Body Works three-wick candle that I have cleaned out. And then I pop the soap into there and then just, you know, like brush my brushes on it when they're wet and just wash them. It's really quick. It's really easy. This one is lavender, which is nice. It's kind of relaxing. I find that this cleans my brushes extremely well. It doesn't dry them out. It doesn't damage them in any kind of way and gets them super, super clean. Even when they are really caked with like makeup, they come super clean when I use this. So needed another one of those. I would say one of these lasts me probably over half a year and I wash my brushes quite frequently. So love that. If you've never tried this, I really think it's worth a try. You can also get this at Trader Joe's. I think it's even cheaper maybe at Trader Joe's? Probably not. Okay, um, I have been interested in uh, using oils on my hair as like a, like a hot oil treatment and then also being able to use that same oil like on my body. So I decided to pick up some of the Now Solutions Apricot Oil, which is supposed to soften fine lines and treat dry hair. And it's a huge container and it was so so cheap you guys I want to say that this was like eight or nine dollars and this will last me forever <laughs> so this is expeller pressed and hexane free so this is supposed to premature um, treat prematurely aged skin irritated skin um, or an all-natural dry hair treatment so I'll let you guys know how it goes with this. I'll probably end up doing a review on how it works. But this doesn't have any fragrance in it. So I kind of, 
I sort of wish that it had like an apricot smell to it, but then I was like, it's probably good that it doesn't, only because I can then use this on like my eczema and stuff. So I, I just think this is going to be really good for my skin. If you've ever tried this, let me know what your experience is with it. I wanted to try a natural hair care line for you guys that was cruelty free, so I decided to pick up the Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science Argon Stem Cells Shampoo and Conditioner. This is specifically uh, geared towards aging, fragile, thinning hair, which my hair isn't necessarily thinning, but I have really fine, thin hair, and this is supposed to fortify hair fibers against split ends, amplify texture and body, which, hello, uh, strengthen strands to reduce breakage, cleanse and stimulate for growth, growth <laughs> actively nourishes for healthy shine. So. Um, I wanted to try this one specifically because now that my hair is gray, I'm trying to really do a good job of keeping it like, you know, just in really good shape. My hair feels so much healthier now that I'm not coloring it. Like, d dude, if you like, if you think that you can pull off gray or like just are okay with just like giving up on the dream of having like blonde hair or brown hair or whatever, just do it. It's honestly the nicest thing that like I've ever done for my hair. It feels so soft and healthy and I just friggin love it I love it the only thing I don't like about this is the fragrance it smells it smells like a men's cologne I don't care for this fragrance but if it works good then that's okay it might even be one of those fragrances that will grow on me over time but yeah as of right now not a huge fan of the scent <laughs> okay picked up another one of my Acure brightening facial scrubs because well I love it. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. And whenever I place a buy to cost order, I automatically toss one of these in there, even if I still have a couple of backups, because it's cheaper on buy to cost than it is at Target. And I just don't ever want to be out of it. So it just always goes in one of my orders. And then a couple of like spray toners for you guys. Okay, so this is the Andalou Naturals. So same brand as this, but they also have a skincare line. They're, um, 1000 roses facial toner and this is for sensitive skin and the rose stem cells in here apparently they're big on stem cells um they're supposed to renew repair and regenerate so it's age defying at 37 i'm really into things that are age defying so <laughs> okay this is a really nice bottle i have not sprayed this on my face yet but i've smelled it smells amazing I love the scent of like rose water uh, this isn't particularly strong it's just soft and pretty and I'm so excited to try this out I have been using the heritage store rose water and glycerin toner which has been wonderful and I was actually going to just reorder that and then I was like I should try some new stuff so that I could fill you guys in on some different brands so I'll let you guys know how this one goes. I like to spray this on my face right when I get out of the shower in the morning. Lovely. And then I wanted to try this one. This is the Alafia Everyday Coconut Face Toner. And this is for all skin types. But this um, coconut water is supposed to be really good for people that are breakout prone or acne prone because coconut water is like antibacterial. It has antibacterial benefits. So it's obviously good for people who break out. Um, just put this box down here. And I've never tried anything from this Alafia brand. And what's funny is that they're actually based out of Olympia, Washington, which is an area in Washington I'm very familiar with. <laughs> My parents live up there. It's where I grew up. So um, I didn't know that they were based out of Olympia. So that's kind of cool. And what I really liked about this company is that they are like really big on giving back and like fair trade type stuff. So they actually, um, they donate to uh, a couple things here. So they have a res reforestation project, a school supplies project that they donate to, bicycles for education project, and then they also help with um, providing comprehensive prenatal care to over a thousand women each year in um, third world countries. So I just, I really like that. <laughs> I'm big on like fair trade, like social empowerment issue type things. So this was, 
I don't know. I like reading about this stuff. Anyway, it's all in the back of the bottle for you. But this is supposed to, um, so coconut water balances and hydrates the skin while neutralizing surface impurities. Neem and papaya protect, tone, and firm, preparing your skin for the day, for everyday use. So, um, yeah, this is no animal testing, vegan, soy and gluten-free, non-GMO, and it's domestic packaging. No parabens, of course, no synthetic fragrance. I have sprayed this on my face, and it smells like a million bucks. Um, so I'll let you guys know how this one goes as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and take you into my bedroom really quickly and show you guys the lamps that I purchased. And then, um, that'll be it for this haul. So let's go take a peek in my bedroom. Okay. So I purchased two of these lamps right here. They were, I think $39.99. And what I really liked about them is they have that like crystal element that I really like in a lot of lamps nowadays and they have the brushed metal which is what we are putting throughout our house now so it has a little bit of that like kind of crystal element down here and then in the ball and the rest is brushed metal and this lampshade hopefully you can see it's so pretty I actually really liked the lampshade on this one which is what drew me to it because a lot of times I see bases of lamps that I really like but I don't necessarily like the shade with this I love the overall shape and style of this and I love the lampshade so um it's got a little thing on here so if you ever wanted to take the lampshade off it would be really easy to change it out for another one but I really really like this one so if you are in the market for a new set of lamps you should definitely check out Target, TJ Maxx, Marshalls they had some really, really nice ones, and they range somewhere between like the $30 and $50 range. Obviously, you know, bigger, fancier is going to cost you a little bit more, but they're still so much more affordable than if you were to go to like Macy's or any of like the other like regular home stores to try to find lamps there. I mean, they can easily be like between $80 and $100 a piece at places like Macy's. So check out your local um, TJ Maxx. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my haul video. Leave me any questions down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.